Hello, today I'm going to be reviewing the new CarPlay-based CD player uh, system. Now, for many of us, we have been looking for a CD solution to be able to add to the newer vehicles that no longer uh, have them available. As you can see here, there is no CD slot. Um, it doesn't fit here because then it'll just get lost in the dash. It doesn't fit in my vents because it's not designed to play CDs. Um, this company has taken it amongst themselves to actually develop a CD player interface that will give you back your CD experience. Now, this CD player is not that new on the market. It has been out for a few years. And in its current um, configuration, it's actually designed to utilize um, the vehicle's uh, USB port input, as you can see right here. But on some vehicles, it does have certain experiences and limitations because the CD player uses a data conversion that some radios may not be compatible with um, to be able to uh, interface. So I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about where I have simply plugged in the USB-based CD player. I'm going to insert the CD. I'm just going to turn this down so you don't have to worry too much about uh, the sound. I have gone to the option for USB. I'm going to wait for it to recognize it and when it does it should say USB audio. It is now recognized. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is choose USB audio. And as you can see, the selected file cannot be played. So of course, although information is showing on here, it can't seem to unencrypt the data or convert the data to a usable experience. So I'm gonna go ahead and eject the CD and show you where the new smart CD module can uh, come into play. So I've disconnected the CD player. I'm now gonna proceed to the new smart CD module. But before I do that, I wanna explain this a little bit. This module, is actually designed with a few great features built in. Number one, it's incredibly plug and play. Very, very simple. If you look at the, this port on the side, this is your USB-C port. Now this is the cable um, that the manufacturer provides with it. You simply plug the device in here. Then you have your standard USB plug. Now, of course, for those that have um, USB-C type connectors in their vehicles rather than standard USB, uh, the company does provide two cables on one which is a USB-C to C and one which is a USB-C to USB standard. So regardless of your configuration, you're gonna be taken care of. Now, once this is connected, you're simply going to plug this into your USB port and now you have the module. I'm gonna go ahead and set that down. Now, once I connect to this module, it should synchronize to the factory radio and give you a device display on the factory option. I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the home screen. Now we're gonna go ahead and select, there you go. Would you like to enable CarPlay? Now this device, and the reason why it's a smart CD player is because it has been designed to utilize the CarPlay controller interface. Hence the reason why the radio is asking you if you would like to enable CarPlay. So let's go ahead and push yes. And what that's going to do is wake up the module's uh, device. Here you go. The user interface now pops up. And as you can see here, there are a few apps to choose from which are being generated by the device itself. The first app that you're going to notice is the CarPlay icon. Now, in this particular vehicle, this is a 2021 Honda Accord, and it does have multiple USB ports, but for certain vehicles that only have one USB port, this device has taken it amongst itself to take your CarPlay um, USB input and convert it from a tethered USB input to full wireless, which I thought was fantastic because that feature on its own is amazing for me because I hate having to be tethered to my USB cable in order to get my CarPlay experience in my vehicle. So now that I have this, this device, not only can I add my CD player to uh, the vehicle, but I can um, also convert my CarPlay experience to complete wireless. So all I have to do is simply push the CarPlay icon. It will tell me, look for um, the, uh, the iPhone that I want to pair to it. And once it does, it will find that phone. You only have to pair it one initial time and then you will no longer have to do it. And any time you are using your CD player and you want to go to CarPlay, simply push the CarPlay icon and it will wake up that CarPlay feature. 
Um, and that CarPlay interface is, of course, your original CarPlay factory feature that's built into your vehicle. One of the other icons that you're going to notice before I get into the CD player is phone casting. Now again, the device was developed primarily for your CD player experience and adding it back to the vehicle. But we didn't, they didn't want to stop there. And in not stopping there, they realized that there are some experiences on your smartphone that you may want to take advantage of, like streaming uh, a video or going on the internet or anything of that nature. Of course, doing it safely in your vehicle, but having access to it on your factory screen. So they added phone casting, which is, of course, screen sharing or taking the ability to take your smartphone and put it on your factory screen. Now, obviously, you would control it by your phone itself, but you can watch whatever you have on your phone on your factory screen. So this module, again, not only providing the ability to connect a CD player, but also to give you wireless CarPlay and to give you phone cast streaming and Bluetooth media as well, which I thought was pretty cool because it's going to stream my Bluetooth audio or my hands-free uh, audio, my Bluetooth audio, directly into uh, my factory radio as well. Now, although, of course, this vehicle has it, but having that option there as well, um, I thought it was a nice backup just in case. Um, you will also notice that there is a file here labeled USB. Now, that USB file um, is also going to be labeled CD. And that CD file will, of course, be designed for the CD player. But in this case, USB will give you the ability to play media-based um, formatted files. For example, you can take a thumb drive and plug it into the exposed USB port here, which is standard USB, and you can play music from your memory stick, you can play movies from your memory stick, because this device provides a complete controller interface in order to do so. Uh, again, as with our previous modules or their previous modules that are available, this module utilizing the factory CarPlay interface will give you the ability to go back and forth between the module and your factory controlled radio without any type of tricks or pushing buttons or wiggling switches or anything like that. Simply push the car icon, it takes you back to your factory interface, and in this case this is the factory Honda interface. If you ever want to go back into it, simply locate your CarPlay icon, push that, it will take you back into the original interface, and you're right back to where you want to be. Now I'm going to proceed to its primary function, which is of course the ability to add my CD player back to this vehicle. Um, I am one of those people that has about 200 different CDs, and of course I don't feel it right for me to have to spend seven hours to sit at my computer, try and load my music to my smartphone, only to have it work maybe 50% of the time, um, or maybe not work at all. And I certainly don't want to spend $9.99 to buy it through the App Store and load all of those CDs to my phone since I've already paid for them. I mean, it's a collection that I've, you know, put together throughout uh, high school and college. And of course, you know, I've got some of my favorite songs on there. And, you know, nothing gives me more pleasure than listening to that music and just getting that nostalgic feeling. So I really enjoyed the fact that this company built a kit that um, gives us the ability to add our CD very simply. So I'm going to show you how simple the installation is. It's a single cable install here. The module is already interfaced. I'm going to go ahead and plug the cable in just like that. You can hear the CD player turning on. I'm going to go ahead and take the CD. We're going to insert that CD. I'm going to put the CD player down just for the sake of um, this demonstration. Now we're going to go ahead and launch the interface, which is, of course, this. Now it's saying USB drive not detected. Once it's detected, here you go. This is your user interface for the CD music that is actually on this uh, disc. Everything is right here. You've got track one, two, three, four, all the way through to the very end of whatever you're looking for. Here you go, all the way down to track 16. You simply choose a track. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the volume down here just in case. There you go, a little bit of volume in there. Now, although it doesn't bring up the music file's uh, name, um, it does tell you song one, two, three, et cetera, et cetera. I do have the ability to fast forward in that song if I want to. You can jump ahead, you can go backwards, you can go to the next song if you want. You can, of course, play, pause, all these different things. You have the ability to control 
through this interface, which is about as factory controlled as possible. This is about as close as I believe that anyone can get in adding a CD player not only safely, but user friendly to your factory radio experience. And you saw that this is incredibly do-it-yourself friendly. You literally have one cable for the smart CD module, one cable for the CD player, and your only challenge now, which doesn't seem to be much, is finding a safe location for the CD player. But if you look at the size of it, my hands aren't very big. It's relatively the size of my hand. It's only about maybe an inch and a quarter thick, only about, let's say, maybe five inches deep. It's literally about, it's incredibly small, easy to use. Looks like there's plenty of locations throughout here, but the manufacturer did spe uh, specify that the CD can also mount vertically. So you can put it on its back uh, uh, vertically if you would like. Now, of course, they did say that they don't want it on its side. Uh, they don't want it facing down. Uh, they don't want it upside down. So that's important to understand the orientation of the CD unit itself. It has to be very specific, which is why they put the sticker here that says this side up. So um, that's my review for this piece. I found it to be incredibly easy to install. Um, as you saw, I basically put this in in about 30 seconds. Um, the manufacturer did provide um, a double stick tape mounting pad for the CD player that I can simply tape to the bottom of this and stick it into, let's say, my center console vertically or wherever I have room, maybe in the pocket below, um, and I can start enjoying my CDs once again.